Hey Brett, quick video. Just saw yours. Wanted to respond briefly. Um, there is a link in the description of this video. Uh, down below, obviously. Um, explaining pretty much everything that I won't cover in this. It's a 22 minute video. It's got 1.8 thousand views. It's on my BitTube. It's called The Rising Threat. Um, that'll answer most of the other questions. Uh, the next thing I want to say is uh, fucking uh, Jews in invented uh, communism. Karl Marx was a Jew. That's just a fact. And it's like, well, well hold on, Will Kincaid situation. I thought uh, I, I I thought you were a Jew. I am. I am a Jew. But sometimes the truth, no matter how unpleasant, uh, just needs to be told because it's it's, it's just true. Um, basically, Marx was like, he looked over the Torah and the Talmud and some of these other things and went, hmm. And that's where he got his ideas for communism for, but, um, he just took out Messiah and God and all this shit. He took out all the stuff that actually makes communism work. Um, because you actually need a divine presence or, uh, um, uh, supreme moral arbiter to make communism actually function because it doesn't actually work without it so that's what's up um, as far as like oh, why, why, is, why is God just let everything go to shit why, why, why is he why, why is he such an asshole why didn't he because God creates us with free will and we're allowed to do pretty much whatever we want um, and God won't interfere on our behalf if we don't keep Torah. That's, that's it. The fundamental reality that I believe in as far as like, uh, what's your, what's your theological position? Um, the whole thing with that is that I believe not necessarily in reincarnation like John does. Um, I believe that this is all kind of a dream. I don't mean dream like Matrix. I mean, like, this is all happening and it's not simultaneously in that, um, there's the Godhead, God, who is the dreamer, and we are inside of the dream. And when we die... We are either reconstituted as a new um, artifice of the dream, could be anything, our information, our, uh, our soul, whatever you want to call it, is reconstituted somewhere else in the universe using existing matter that's in the universe. Um, and... Part of our soul, in a way, returns to the Godhead because it's part of the consciousness of God. That's where we're at. And I think what happened with the Ark of the Covenant and why you can't look into it is when you look into the Ark of the Covenant, you learn that you are actually in a dream and you learn the truth that, that about it, and you there's there's no denying it once you see it because it comes directly from God Himself, and you zero sum out of existence. Um, that's it, I guess. Um, and I have props today, fucking carrot top. I don't have red hair, but I do wear orange shirts occasionally. So, well, Kincaid, that's all great and everything. I love to choose Judaism, but bacon, just, bacon and pork and sausage just taste so good. All right, listen up. You don't have to eat like a fucking rabbit to enjoy Judaism, all right? Now, technically it's kosher, what I'm about to show you, and technically it's not. Um, I'm inside now, so I'm going to take off these fucking sunglasses. That's some kind of fucking moron. I have here one of my two sandwiches. Alright? I tell you, I usually don't promote this sort of thing. 
This is not sponsored. I don't have sponsors because everyone hates me. Look at that. Look at that. Everything on this is part of a kosher animal. Watch this. So, we got cheese. This is upside down. Turkey sausage. This is an egg on an English muffin. <laughs> I fucked that. I apologize. And this whole thing tastes exactly like an ordinary breakfast sandwich. As somebody who used to eat um, not so kosher or I embraced Judaism, I will tell you this does in fact taste exactly like an ordinary breakfast sandwich. Look at that. Mmm. Chewy and delicious. Not only that, but, but welcome kind of like bacon. Turkey bacon. Most places you get it. Tastes exactly like fucking bacon. But I like, I like, um, fucking, what the fuck is the word for it? I like hot dogs. Oh yeah, well, you can get all beef. You can get all beef franks. Kosher. Completely fucking kosher. But I want to put cheese on my cheeseburger. Get a turkey burger and put fucking cheese on it. Or tur you get turkey bacon. I like loaded baked potatoes, well concurred. Now, you can get, uh, I thought I had some. You can get fake bacon bits. They're pretty close. They're not the same. Or you can cut up turkey bacon and put it in your loaded baked potato. It's really no different cooking required. It doesn't really taste that different, to be honest with you. It's a leaner meat. And it's, for all intents and purposes, it's from a kosher animal. You can eat it. You can fucking eat it. So, it's, it's not... It's not that hard to eat kosher. It's really not. Well, well, I like pulled pork situation. Well, you can take a beef brisket then and make pulled beef. And it tastes virtually identical. Like, okay. Or well, I don't know if I can do nothing for a whole day on the Sabbath. Really? All I'm saying is, if you wanted to do it, you could. You know me and John would help you. I'm not, I'm not saying it's for everybody. I'm just saying that me and John have benefited from Judaism immensely. <clears throat> there really haven't been that many like drawbacks or negative side effects. It, I, in fact, I don't think there have been any. Every bad thing that's happened to me is because humanity is shit. And every good thing that's happened to me is, uh, you know, Judaism for the most part so far. Um, so, I mean, if you want to flirt with it a little bit, you could try a couple of things. We could teach you a little bit of, a little bracha, a little blessing, a little prayer situation. But... I know, it's like a lifestyle change. It's, you know, it's difficult at first, but you just don't fucking... It's like John told me in the beginning. You know, you don't have to go full Jew. You just dip your toe in, you know what I mean? Um, you know, maybe a little messianic shit, if you like. But, you know, give it a shot. At least, you, at least you're somewhat familiar with the religion, just because, like, it's, it's not really... Christianity minus Jesus. There's some other stuff in there that's like a completely different fucking translation. And but I mean, if you got some fucking questions, obviously we got answers. So, um, or you can answer honestly, unlike Christians, and just say I don't know. Because sometimes that's just the answer. Sometimes God's just incomprehensible. Anyway, it's been ten minutes. Um, hope to talk to you soon. Take care now. Bye bye then.